Hey, hey. Okay. We are suited and booted. They're right over there in the corner. O M G Z. 50, I would say. Fish rescue today. There you go, buddy. I think she's gonna hide from me. Bye. Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy back in it to win it. Now, if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice, big, warm aloha and welcome. On this channel, we talk everything aquatics, whether it be ponds, fish, salt water, fish store tours, and DIY projects for the aquarium hobby. Oh, and fish rescues! Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, fish rescue today. You guys are coming along with me, but before we go, please hit that subscribe button, and next to that subscribe button is a little bell. Click that bell, turn it on, it's a notification bell. It's just gonna notify you when I upload a new video, and guess what? Then you'll be part of the Ohana, and the best thing about it is it's absolutely free. So let's jump into this video because we got some work to do, all right? Let's get locked and loaded with all the rescue needs. Let's go. Boom, we are here in the front yard. In the back of the car, we are suited and booted. We have our tote to transport the fish. We have two nets and two portable aerators. Pretty much my standard package when I go to rescue fish. Also, they don't live that far too. They actually live in the same town I do, right up the street, less than two miles away. So in the blink of an eye, we're gonna do the Hawaiian punch out and I will teleport and see you guys at our destination. Shh, boom, all right guys, we are here at our destination. Now check it out, check it out, check it out. Not only is the neighbor bumping some tunes in the background, washing his car, hey, hey. But what we're gonna do is we have everything set up right here on the ground. We have our tote, we have our nets, we have our portable aerators. And right in the front yard, in that section there, there is a portable or a, a reformed pond that we're gonna actually rescue the fish. Big shout out to Dave and his wife. Thank you guys for uh, letting me come on by and rescuing these fish for you guys. My neighbor across the street, Matt, shout out to you. He was the one who actually texted me and uh, saw the post on Facebook and said, hey man, can you uh, help these people out? We're gonna get to it and uh, see what we got. It's kind of a grab bag, kind of a surprise. So I have no idea what's in store, so. Let's go. All right, we got two nets. We got portable aerators and our tote. We're gonna manage to put all the fish in here. Now, I was just told by the owner, Dave, that he may have mosquito fish and some crayfish. So we might have to scoop those up too as well. We'll see what we can get. Okay, uh, there's also, yeah, I can see the mosquito fish right down in there. Yeah, so uh, we're definitely gonna get these guys rescued all right so basically dave and his wife just recently moved into this home and there was a pond here and he didn't really want to handle all the maintenance so that's why he actually was looking for someone to pick up the fish he's thinking about doing something a little bit more low maintenance like a water feature than having to take care of fish in a pond so he called the right person though guys we're going to rescue these bad boys so stay tuned we're going to go ahead and net these guys up i'm going to actually scoop up some of this pond water and mix it with some regular water too that way just enough water for the fish to survive from point A to point B. We're, like I said, we're less than two miles away, so we're gonna get on it, and I'll see you guys in a second. What we're gonna do is gingerly scoop up some of the pond water. I don't, I'm not sure how deep this pond goes. <laughs> There's a lot of muck at the bottom of it, you can see, uh, but we're just gonna slowly add some water uh, to the tote here. Just enough water for the fish to survive from point A to point B. Um, gosh, there, there are a lot of mosquito fish. So the cool thing about mosquito fish is obviously they eat mosquitoes and the larva. So I'll definitely scoop up some of those and add them to the above ground pond. I'm gonna try to get everything. And then I think I'm gonna add a little bit of fresh water in here too. And that should be good enough uh, water for now. All right, so I got the hose and I'm just gonna throw a little bit of fresh water in here. And that is a wrap. All right, so I'm gonna use this net here and see if we can get some of these fish here. They're right over there in the corner. Release this guy in here. Make sure I don't have anything else in there. Nope. All right. See him right there? Look at him, he thinks he's gonna hide from me. Oh gosh, man, this thing is super mucky. We got him. All right. We're pretty much done here. Uh, it's kind of murky, but it's okay, it's okay. Um, I got as many as I could. Uh, a lot of mosquito fish too as well with every scoop. So we got our portable aerators hooked up. As you can see, they are aerating the water to make this, you know, short drive comfortable for the fish. 
All right, my Ohana, so we're pretty much done here. I got as many as I could. Uh, lots of mosquito fish. The water is a little murky, uh, but it's okay. It's okay. They're going to do just fine. They actually look great for being in this little pond here with no filter, but they do look extremely healthy. So I'm super excited to show you guys and reveal to you guys what they look like at Tiki Falls. So let's get back home and I'll see you guys in a flash. Shh. Boom, just like that, we are home. Like I said, it's like less than two miles behind me. If you can see it over my shoulder, oh, there it is, the tote with the goodies. So let's go ahead and actually add the fish. I've been pouring some of Tiki Falls water into the tote, so the fish are acclimated, they're good to go. And I can't wait to introduce them to their really big new home. Temporary new home, okay, because I do have some plans for these fish, okay? So I'm actually gonna take these fish, put them in Tiki Falls just on one side, and then uh, the guppies, or not guppies, the mosquito fish, I guess, slash minnows, I'm gonna actually stick them in the above ground pond just to add a little bit more, I don't know, fish. All right, let's go. Let's go check it out. All right, so we got the portable aerators. I'm gonna go ahead and turn these bad boys off. And we are going to pop the lid. I know you guys are super, super excited like I am. Gosh, look at that. Water is just straight muck. Oh, you guys all right? Yeah, they're all right. Okay. All right. So, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to bare hand them. You know what, Ohana? I sometimes forget. I have this little viewing tote. So, I'm going to get some of this water from Tiki Falls in here. And we're actually going to net the fish and stick them in here. And that way we can get a good look at them. OMG. Jeezy Ohana. I'm checking out these fish for the first time. Didn't really look at them when I netted them um, over at the destination, but these are absolutely beautiful. You know what they remind me of? They remind me of Curly, Larry, and Mo, but these guys are like on steroids. A little bit bigger, but wait till you see how deep the red is. Check these out. OMGZ. Would you look at these beautiful Sarasa goldfish? Now you can see the regular standard Comet goldfish right there. And then you can see the difference between a Sarasa goldfish. Look at how deep the red is on these fish. They're absolutely beautiful. Gosh, I don't even know what to say. Totally speechless, guys, totally speechless. I mean, big difference, right? I don't even know if I wanna put them in Tiki Falls. I think I actually wanna put them in the above ground pond. I actually wanna keep these. Oh man, comment down below. What do you guys think? Should I keep these or should I give them to one of my friends? God, these are beautiful. I don't, man, I've never seen Sarasa goldfish with such a deep blood red. Gosh, these are beautiful. Now they call them Sarasa. Sarasa is the coloration of white and red. And uh, I, I said it in previous videos, uh, they are kind of mimics of the Kohaku Koi. So uh, these are kind of like the broke man's version of the Kohaku Koi. Those are super expensive Koi. Uh, but these Sarasa goldfish are beautiful, yeah. You know what guys, I'm gonna stick them in the above ground pond. They're just beautiful. And maybe I'll throw this uh, Comet goldfish in Tiki Falls. Yeah, maybe we'll throw them over there uh, to keep the pond cycled. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a thousand gallons. We'll keep the pond cycled with this one fish. I know there's, uh, you know, some white cloud minnows still in Tiki Falls. So, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that, man. I just, these fish are just so gorgeous. They're about, I would say, four inches. Yeah, maybe four, four inches or so. Actually, let's just go ahead and um, grab this boy right here and throw him into Tiki Falls. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. He's a nice deep orange too, but. And there he goes, he's free. He's free in Tiki Falls. It's all you, buddy. Man, let me correct the color on this camera. My goodness, all right, there you go. There he is. He's swimming around in Tiki Falls, look at him. He's like, man, this is huge compared to where I was. Look at him, look at him. I'm not gonna show you guys really what Tiki Falls looks like. It looks horrible because I'm slowly breaking it down. But anyways, just wanted to zoom in on this guy and uh, show you uh, how he's loving his new home. <laughs> 
All right, let's get those Sarasas in the above ground pond. I am not lying. I'm super impressed on the way these Sarasa goldfish look. Man. All right, let's go ahead and grab this beauty right here. I wonder if they'll pair up with the other Sarasas. Come here, buddy. Uh, just relax, 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 relax. I'm gonna stick them under the net. We'll release them into the pond. Ooh, there you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. Ooh, and there he goes. Oh, he's teaming up with the other Sarasas. Oh, just like that. He actually just schooled up with them. Look at him. Look at him. There he goes. Look at him. Okay, let's grab the other two. Relax, relax, relax. Mm, there you go, bud. And there he goes. Ah, oh, this is a beauty. I love the coloration on the tail. Look at the tail, you see that? Ooh, look at that coloration of red on the tail. Ah, oh, look at him, isn't he beauty? Ooh, there he goes. Look at the little, look how little the uh, Sarasa, oh, they went into the cave. There they are. Look at them. They're all hanging out. Oh, it's so nice. So nice to see them running around. Oh, the Sarasa goldfish are looking nice. Look at them right there. Oh, we just went into the, uh, the flower pot. Let's actually go get the mosquito fish and stick them inside the above ground pond. Check out these little minnows slash mosquito fish. I mean, I didn't realize how many I netted. God, these got, it's gotta be like, I don't know, maybe 50, I would say, but look how tiny. There's some big ones in here, like this one here. Oh, come on, don't move, uh, 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 don't, don't, don't. There you go. There's one right there, look it. Little white bellies, not too much color. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, grab these by the handful and just let them jump out of my hand. So, all right, here goes the first batch. They can actually jump through the net. <laughs> They're so small. I'm gonna finish doing this, guys, and I will get back to you. Sit tight, don't go anywhere, all right? So I actually dropped some food in here, some flake food and some pellets, obviously, for the bigger fish, but the Sarasas are actually on it. They're actually eating the pellets. That's how big they are. They're big enough to eat the smaller size pellets. Um, as you can see them going to work there. Look at them. They're probably like, oh my gosh, this food is so great. Love, love their red. Beautiful. Well, my Ohana, this rescue actually turned out to be awesome. At first, I was super excited because they were koi to rescue. Um, I get to the location, they weren't koi, they were goldfish, but Sarasa goldfish. I get them home and I got a really good look at them in the viewing tub that I had and they are beautiful. I've never seen Sarasa goldfish like this with such a deep, deep red. Uh, I'm super excited, it was awesome. Dave, his wife, thank you guys so much. Uh, these were a surprise Sarasa goldfish treat for you guys at home so down below tell me what you guys think of the new sarasa goldfish and then we have our regular comet goldfish which is in tiki falls i will do a video on tiki falls next that way you guys can see what's going on it looks horrible it looks so regular right now it's not even funny i moved so much rock when you guys see it you're gonna go tiki falls looks ugly there's a reason why it looks ugly because we are gonna redo it if you guys haven't already Hit that like button, I really appreciate it, and it helps the channel out. I will see you guys on the next video. Much love and aloha. <laughs>